Look, the generation after the greatest generation has got to be probably the worst generation I have ever seen. You want to try to tell me my generation is the worst? Come on. My generation right, has not even been in power. And they look at the world and say, look how terrible this generation is. Look what they've caused. You know what the reality is? People born after the greatest generation, I'm talking about born in the 70s and 80s, dropped the ball on everything. They were given the gates to the kingdom. They were given everything. And they what advocated every bit of responsibility fed into every bit of media, fed into every bit of advertisement, and then comes at my generation and says, we're the ones addicted, we're the ones trapped. Yeah, yeah, you gave us a life and existence filled with these addictions, and my generation's overcoming them. My generation is the first generation in a long time to put a very concise and concerted effort on true mental and physical health, right? Not just like, oh, I work out a little good or whatever. We want our lives to be better. We have lived through the worst times in, in recent human history. Every other generation has had it easy. I'm sorry. We're not the generation that has had it easy. We're the generation that lived through a pandemic. We're the generation with the highest food costs and in, in, in several decades, highest fuel prices. Look, we can't even take and live off a $15 an hour job. You realize that, right? We're living in that generation, and they cr criticize our generation for being too good to flip burgers. Well, guess what? My generation are the ones flipping your burgers. I'm sorry to tell you. I go into every any place I go in is young people, and the young people are the ones working, and the young people are the ones hustling, and all I see out of old people is a lot of blaming. A lot of them standing there doing nothing, and then when a mistake happens, blaming the people that are actually doing the work because they're not doing anything themselves. That's the reality. That is what that is the culmination of that generation. They blame their parents for being terrible teachers. Meanwhile, they had everything. They had one of the greatest economies America has ever had, predominant superpower. Then they dropped the ball. They stopped going to space. They stopped inventing things. The only thing they invented were cell phones. Then they gave those cell phones to our generation and blamed us for being messed up. Good, thank you for taking responsibility. You know what, my generation will. You know what, my generation is gonna be the next greatest generation because we're the ones going through adversity right now. If you wanna play like that's not the case, okay, we're literally looking in the face of World War III. There is active conflict between Russia and Ukraine. You wanna talk about my generation being weak. We're about to go to war. We're about to be one of the first generations drafted since World War II. You understand that, right? Since, well, not World War II, since Vietnam. That was before your generation. I'm sorry, all you 40, 50 year olds that act like you're, you're, you're this and you're that. You weren't a part of any draft. What you, what you had was Desert Storm, right? That was voluntary and that was like a half measure. That was a half measure. I'm sorry. I'm not insulting any troops that were there. The respect to you, but you want to talk about generational greatness, right? It's not my generation's fault, period, but we're going to fix it. So thank you. Hot take. Have a blessed day.